Hello everybody, this is Leobach, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we activated that machine. I only need to have to fight it now. Yeah, that, mi that might be a spoiler, I'm, I don't think it is. I'm saying that we've had to fight all the others we've run into, but yeah. You get the idea. Um... So yeah, we just go and, well, actually not, this is actually the second taking of this, the last time I did it, I did this, that snake got in the way. But yeah, basically, one thing you can really do that's very easy is once you start fighting the guy, just kind of whale, whale, or haul ass to his sword, it's, it actually makes it very easy to beat this guy. Much easier than, like, say, the tech tights, which jump around. Or the dark, or the uh, dark nuts. But seriously, what kind of name is a dark nut? I mean, I understand if it, was a, if it would be a nut, but it's a soldier. So yeah, what we, we want to do actually, we want to we want to turn that one off because if we don't, it will block our way, and for some reason we can't hit these guys from behind. Hit that guy from behind, but not the. You can't hit this guy, this one from behind for some reason. That's the way they programmed it. Hard piece. I don't know why I call them hard pieces. Should come with the common legend of Neil. Oh, sweet. Kiss them piece. I'll tell you, one thing that really ticked me off though, about having to do this a second time is the first time I did this, I got like two kinstone pieces in a row just by cutting it, cutting them in the grass. Yeah. We got 50 rupees! We got 50 mysterious shells! Even though mysterious shells like worth way more than that! Oh, way less actually. It should be like... If that was going to be a big treasure, it should be much higher. Okay, so... Yeah, um, oh look, another kinstone piece. You know, I might as well. I could... Um, no. Ah! Those guys. Yeah, so as you can see, we have an enemy barricade. We have to destroy even the enemies in the rocks. Um... Yay, more! Oh, shoot! Ugh. Those little things. Ugh. Just see me shiver just now. Okay, so if we go this way, we simply get off the little area. But if we go in here, we have the Fortress of Wind. Um, actually, we're going to start by going as far over this way as we can. And as you can see, we're in an area we can't do anything over here and these guys we can't kill or they and they can shock us to death. Um yeah not really much we can do here. If we're into the any other room. Hmm, I think the rooms were hidden with the within, within the coast this whole time. Watch your step, Link, there may be traps here. Oh well, considering this is a dungeon I'd consider it would be trapless would be a monstrosity in a Zelda game. Okay, so there we go. Those blue, those blue skeletons, there's actually also red variants of them. The blue skeletons are called Stall, stall Child. I think that's right. Stall or Skull Child. And they're basically... If you, if you know what a Stall is, that's basically what they are. Uh, lower grade version of Astolfos. Um, if you don't know what Astolfos is, um, they're probably one of the cool, the second coolest in my opinion anyway, because I like the Iron Knuckles and Dark Nuts. But they're the second coolest enemy in a Zelda game, and possibly the funnest to fight in a 3D Zelda game. Okay, so we gotta go around because I don't want to get hit by that guy. Funny thing, by this point in the recording, I was at this, this much health also. 
Yeah, I know, kind of sad. Okay, so, as you can see, there's three uh, split pads, as we'll call them, and, four, and two switches. We only need one. We, don't, we needed both of those to open the door, but they're, they're obviously not close enough. So what do we have to do here? Hmm. Well, the only thing we can do, attack this guy! And I, uh, there we go. I want him! And we're gonna get some peace! Yay, I'm back to what I had before! Yay! Okay, so we activate the switch here. Boing! Go over here. And... You know how to guide us, we open the door. Yay! Okay, so we jump on this shrink. And... This sort of thing is kind of get a little long as being in the small form. I am glad they brought the duck, the uh, roll ability in this game. Anyway, we go into the deactivated machine, turn it on. It's kind of funny, it's funny that you hit a switch and it suddenly bursts in a pot in front of you, suddenly bursts into flames. Not a pot of torch. Anyway, we fight this guy. Of course. Being machines that are completely incompetent. We pull down the switch and oh my gosh, the key just dropped in the hole. And he's the one who has to point out for us. And something just fall down or it's just my imagination. Okay. So the only thing you can do is commit suicide! You think we're dying just because it's a turn for drop is okay because we're gonna turn these Alright, I should probably stop that. Okay, so we got a small key. And how convenient that we got a small key and got brought back to the first floor. We're gonna use that small key to our advantage in here in a second. So anyway, we go into the center room, the center chamber in the uh, bottom floor. And here we have a few stall foes, or stall kids. Stall child. I think they're, actually, I think it's stall kids. To be, that sounds more right. Um, we're going to equip our bow because we got one of these guys to fight. Yay! Shoot him once, two, three. Still badass to do that. Okay, so we go up here and we got a big treasure chest. What could it be? Could it be the item of the dungeon? The compass? Or, more importantly, the dungeon map! Okay, I'm going to show you something that's unique to this dungeon um, real quick here. You see, as you can see, here's our dungeon map. Bottom floor, we have all that. And you see where the yellow arrow is? That's where we enter the dungeon from. You don't see any area there. The neat thing is this area out here, as well as the area below and the area above it, are technically outside of the dungeon. Um, I'm not gonna waste my time with that guy. It's actually quite neat, and I know and it's not really necessary that they show it because it is pretty easy. Okay, so um, that's a, my. Uh, I'll, I'll do this one. Yeah, I'll do this one. Um, actually, what we're gonna need to do here with the Pegasus boots, pull back, and start running, and we're getting rubbed by Zlo. Wow, Texan actually stopped time. Phew, we barely made it. Actually, I was trying to run out of time. And that, my friends, were totally pointless. <laughs> floor Masters. I don't know why they're called Floor Masters. Ah, no, no, no! Ah, they took me... Ah. Hate those guys. They take you back to the beginning of the dungeon every time they grab you. It is annoying, and I hate them. I want to mass murder them. So technically, I think they're already dead, so we can't really. Ah! Stay away from me, freak! No! I just thought the kids some pizza out of that. Ugh, stupid. 
Ugh. Monsters, I hate them. Yeah, you know, you hear me complain about a lot of monsters in a lot of games. It makes you wonder why I play these games. And for example, the, uh... <laughs> for example, I believe... Did I have anything in Metroid that I... Wow, I gotta work faster than that. Um, Earthbound. <laughs> I could talk forever about that one. What the? Oh, that's not good. I had some lag there. Okay. So anyway, Earthbound. I could talk. Oh no, you get. Ah, oh, they regenerated. Well, um, Earthbound, pretty much zombies and anything in three. Metroid, any small bug enemies, for some reason those creep me out. Actually, I don't need to be in this form. I don't know why they creep me out. Probably you can't shoot them. <laughs> anything tall, anything tiny and small that you can't just utterly shoot right away isn't worth, isn't worth, uh, is a freak or is a freak out? You get you get. What I'm trying to say. Okay, so as you can probably guess from this puzzle, we just jump in the hole and jump back out. Now this puzzle here is a little tricky to figure out, but it's not that hard. Um, we just position one stone here, one stone here. And as you can tell, that doesn't really do anything. None of these guys drop hard. They do drop rupees. But what we really need to do is we need to power up our sword here. And then right here, split into forms. So go down this way, drop down the, here, and step these two switches simultaneously, and we get a key! Yay! We got a small key! Okay, so. Using our powers of deduction, we gotta jump in the hole again. So many. Oh, you see his eyes drop, that's cool. Open this door, and we're out into this room, where we see a more floor masters. Really? Well, we're not going to worry about that, we don't need to go over there. We'll just drop down here. Ow. And basically, we're just going to head back down. We have nowhere else to go here, so we're going to head back down into the entrance of the dungeon. And, actually with that, um, we're going to go into the farthest, so it's the left as we can. Hopefully, it's got, yes, they have hearts, yay. Okay, and with that, um, we're going to end off here for now. Um, so yeah. Next episode, we'll be getting further, further into the dungeon. Um, until then, I will see you guys later.